On the afternoon of March the 13th of 2007, Kelly Allen left a friend's home to go to a job interview. She went back to the friend's apartment, but was never seen or heard from again. She left her belongings at the friend's apartment, but Kelly was gone. So what happened to Kelly? And where did she go? Where was she headed to without her things? Stick around as we take you into part three of Missing in Missouri. Kelly Allen was born on December 4th of 1986. Growing up in the state of Missouri, Kelly had a zest for life and was very goal-oriented. Kelly attended the Lafayette High School, then later decided to expand her education by taking college courses in nursing. Kelly had a drive for the medical field, to which she got a job working in the nursing home. Though the position at the nursing home was a distance from home, this was what she wanted to do until the distance became a challenge. But Kelly then decided to look for other jobs closer to home. On March 7th of 2007, Kelly made plans to spend a few days with a friend who lived on the 8600 block off Frost Avenue in Berkeley, Missouri to enjoy her time with her friend as well as arrive at a job interview located on Watson Road, to which she did attend on March the 13th of 2007. Kelly made a great impression at the interview that the employer and Kelly set up a second interview on March the 16th of 2007. Kelly and her friend also made plans to spend the evening together after work. Kelly's friend got off work, then headed home. When she got back to her place, Kelly wasn't there. She was confused as she and Kelly communicated throughout the day and made plans for the evening. Kelly's friend wasn't terribly alarmed as there was nothing out of sorts in the apartment. However, she did notice that Kelly's belongings were still there as well as a tax refund check that was untouched. Three days would pass and it was discovered that Kelly never made it to her second job interview. This is when Kelly's mom grew concerned of Kelly's whereabouts, as this was uncharacteristic of Kelly. The family last spoke to Kelly a few days before the day of the first interview, but didn't hear from her after the fact. The family waited two days to report her missing to the Berkeley Police Department, but later filed a missing persons report with the St. Louis Police Department. But five years later, after Kelly's disappearance, one of Kelly's family members reported seeing a woman with an unknown male on a train that resembled Kelly. The family member managed to snap a photo of the woman before she could exit the train. They then sent the photo of the woman to the authorities to examine and determine whether or not it was Kelly. Unfortunately, the authorities were not able to positively identify Kelly. As of right now, there are no more updates to this case. The family continues to search for Kelly and bring attention to her disappearance. The family will always hold out hope for more answers and for hope that Kelly is still out there. If anyone has any answers in regards to Kelly's case, the information will be linked in the description box. As always, thank you for spending some of your time here at the True Crime Spot. We'll see you in the next video.